Uh, my name is Aiden Zerdoom. I'm a junior biomedical engineering major from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. It's, it's a big problem where um, bacteria biofilms will grow on um, hip, like hip implants or knee implants and it'll cause an infection and then you'll have to remove the implant and that costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of time to recover from that. I cultured and grew, and grew the bacteria in the Netherlands and we exposed them to these different treatments. Then I uh, fixed the bacteria so that they were able to be viewed by the microscope. We used the focused ion beam, the FIB, and it can um, nanomachine the sample and it cuts away slices almost like a loaf of bread from the sample and then you can take an image of each slice and then we use a computer in the other room to compile them all into a three-dimensional image. Even though these are kind of small looking right now, one micrometer, which is a thousandth of a millimeter, is about an inch long when you're looking at it in the microscope. But even if we milled away like a pretty good sized part on the microscope, you can't even see what we've, what we've cut away on these samples. So um, it's, it's really, um, it's really uh, it would be easy to do like several runs of the same experiment on just one sample. I've looked at a couple of these samples several times and run tests on them. What we were trying to do is um, the way that uh, the one treatment we used on the bacteria, those quaternary ammonium compounds that we use, they're supposed to kill the bacteria by causing them to burst open. With this microscope, it's got a really powerful um, detector, so it can really zoom in on the bacteria and you can actually see the details on the cell surface and see how the quats are affecting it in that way. So we could see a lot of individual bacteria that had like no insides, it was just the cell wall or like that had holes in them or things like that. That's what we were looking for with the microscope. I'm still in the process of taking these images of the biofilm. Once I can, can compile all of them together, we're going to be looking at which treatment would be the most effective. What I really also thought was surprising was that this, uh, using something like this would be available to me as an undergraduate student. I'd never really even thought that it was possible. I think it's really, uh, just to see the, the samples show up on the screen and like to get a really good photo, just to look at it, it's just so detailed and, and you can, it's, it was just really amazing that I didn't think I would be doing this like even last year. I thought I would be around here like just helping people like carry stuff around or just doing small parts, but I'm actually like really involved in a specific project and it's really, it's really fun.